Rainbow Six Siege has an issue. Now this comes with any major franchise where at a certain point you run out of things to do within that game without straying away from what made the game itself in the first place. That grammatically made zero sense in my head. Anyways, uh, I want to take for example Call of Duty. At a certain point, yeah, killing each other and playing with guns and tea bags are all cool and fun but at a certain point they ran out of creativity and all of a sudden we got black ops 3 advanced warfare we got exosuits we got supply drops we got fucking insane skins in a world war ii game can we talk about that for a second like what the fuck was that siege has been out for a very long time um i think we're on year eight now once a game has been out close to 10 years um the team starts to run out of ideas. A lot of operators that they introduce into the game are typically either overpowered or completely fucking useless because there's a already better option from year one, two, three, or four. Now I wanted to load up Siege to show you guys what I mean by some operators being completely fucking useless while others are way too overpowered. And the biggest example I can give is Ace and Hibana. Hibana being very old, she is from year one, season four, essentially a year two. Ace is Hibana, but arguably fucking worse. Hibana can actually make gigantic fucking holes, while Ace makes Mira-sized fucking holes in the wall that you can't jump through half the time because the second one usually gets fucking destroyed. Now another example I really want to give to uh, further my point of some operators being fucking useless now is Blackbeard and Osa. Osa being a relatively new operator while Blackbeard has been in the game longer than I've fucking played. Blackbeard has seen a lot of nerfs, so granted this one is a little bit skewed, but regardless, Osa has completely overruled any fucking chance of you picking Blackbeard. Not only is her shield essentially way fucking better, but her guns are also a lot better because Blackbeard has been nerfed into the fucking ground. Siege has noticed this and has started releasing operators that are either overly overpowered or completely fucking useless or make other operators completely fucking useless. One last example of this is Fenrir. Why the fuck am I not able to see for like 30 full seconds of the fucking match? Everyone in the Siege community has mutually started banning Fenrir over any other fucking defender because we don't want to fucking deal with him. I also want to give a quick honorable mention to Solus and Mozzie, Solus being the new operator that has overruled Mozzie. Granted, they have a little bit different util, but Solus is essentially the better version of Mozzie. In all honesty, I think Solus is actually a closer version to IQ, but on fucking defense now, because why, why did they need that? So enough about the operators, let's talk about the new operator, Ram. Now very quickly, I want to give a round of applause to Rainbow Six Siege for naming the Operation Heavy Metal. Uh, this is actually very fucking cool, and uh, hopefully we get some some steel bars that we can bash our head over. I want to very quickly take a look at this video um, that Siege themselves have posted on Twitter showcasing some questions that people have about Ram and her fucking util, which is called Buggy. So the first question is, can it destroy bulletproof gadgets? And in case you haven't realized, yes, uh, it can destroy fucking everything apparently because she can also take out Maestro's cam, barbed wire, frost mats, and deployable fucking shields alongside making a gaping hole in the fucking bottom of the floor. The next one is that it doesn't set off cap can traps. Why is that even a thing? I don't know. The one thing they haven't talked about is how to actually take out the buggy. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, this thing is fucking Thanos and it's just straight up invincible. The good news is that it can destroy cap can traps if it's in the area of effect. The next question is do Mozzie's pests affect it? And the answer is fucking no, because that would make this too fair. It can also destroy electrified gadgets, which I'm assuming is going to destroy bandit charges and Cade, the, the Cade uh, adult toy that he throws at the walls to electrify it. I don't know what the fuck they're called, actually. And in case you thought all of this was a little too fair for defenders, um, you can also take damage from the fucking thing. This is the first thing that I've actually seen from Siege saying on how to stop it. Mute charges. It's kryptonite is mute charges. Oh. Never fucking mind, because you can destroy it anyways. Earlier, I talked about how Siege is releasing operators that are killing other operators' usefulness. Uh, this one is destroying Buck 
and sledge the absolute most. Now I have heard the argument that the quality of what you are destroying is more important than quantity, which is what the buggy is doing. However, when you are sitting in church on Clubhouse and all of a sudden the entire top floor is fucking gone, I think you would be freaking out too. In all honesty, do I think this is going to ruin the entire game? Probably, but I don't think it'll affect rank too much because this bitch has never seen the light of day. She's gonna get put on a ban list harder than Jacko and Fenrir. I would genuinely be surprised if I ever saw her in a rank game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't have an outro this time because I keep promising a new surf video and it's just not happening. <laughs>